A Brooklyn rabbi made a disturbing discovery as he arrived at his synagogue for prayer. A vile message was left on the wall. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Sheepshead Bay with the latest on the investigation. Rabbi Asher Al Shul was walking into Congregation Beth Shalom of Kings Bay for morning services around 6:30 a.m. as he does every day when he saw this. In big white letters, someone sprayed the word Hitler onto the wall of this decades-old institution. I was kind of in shock. I spoke to congregants of the center that are here for 40 years, 50 years, never such a thing. He called the police and Councilwoman Ina Vernikov, who came this morning to see for herself. This is happening in our own backyards. Her family, like so many others, was affected by the Holocaust. People were beaten just for being Jewish, and we ran away from that to come to a place of freedom and tolerance and to see this is absolutely horrifying. The rabbi says there are many Holocaust survivors and their families that live in this neighborhood, many of whom attend this synagogue on a regular basis. Flapa Shomrim, a volunteer civilian patrol group, also came early this morning. Soon after, volunteers, including Stephen Weil, started to clean up the display of hate. I believe it's all tied together to the lack of accountability uh, that criminals face today. I've never been... I would say more scared or more ashamed to be a New Yorker right now. Detectives from the NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force were here this afternoon searching for evidence. One surveillance camera on the building points towards the entrance away from the spot where the vandalism was found. But the NYPD says it happened around 8.30 last night. The message is now gone. And Rabbi Altschul says the best thing the congregation can do is to move past this. The best response possible. Move on, live your life, be proud, Jew, be proud of who you are. And that's what they're doing. Campers happily poured into the building today, business as usual. In Sheepshead Bay, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.